Hi, uh, I'm going to continue from the previous of major assignment to um, saving and loan analysis page. Uh, so we're going to enter number of years, 15 for the last uh, section uh, for uh, table 5. So I already uh, explained in my previous video how to compute this table, table 5, alright, so now I'm going to explain about loan, which is table 6, here you're going to get a loan amount from um, a financial institute, $15,000, and the APR interest rate is 4.2, 6.2 and 8.2 for different years. All right. So using this information, we're going to compute how much would be your monthly payment, which is PMT. All right. So to compute the monthly payment for this given uh, loan under column uh, B, which is a five-year loan. So to compute the monthly payment, we're going to go back find the formula here, double click on the formula, you're going to cap, highlight everything except the PMT, alright, highlight everything with the equal sign, copy it, copy, alright, control C to make copy, alright, uh paste here on say b 53 as the formula now we're going to enter the number of contribution per year per year that means uh, every month you're going to make payments that's what mean number of contribution so how many months in a year we have 12 months in a year so every month you're gonna make contribution. Alright. Number of years is already given here on the top. Let me see. Five year, right? Five year long. So we're gonna enter five on sale B fifty two, right? So that's a number of years. Now we're gonna compute how much would be your monthly payment given those values. Right, double click on cell P53, so you're going to enter the values, click next to uh, P on the right side, remove P, and click on the loan amount, which is B49, 15,000, click on 15,000, right, click next to R, remove R, click on the APR, which is 4.2%, click on it, it's going to copy itself. Right, click next to the N, remove N, and stand for the number of contribution, which is 12. Click on 12. All right, go to again to R. Click next to the right side of R to remove it. R is 4.2. Click on 4.2. All right, click on N, remove N. N is 12. Click on 12. Alright, click on N again, remove, click on 12, that's the N, click next to our T, remove T, the number of year is 5, 5 year long, hit enter, alright, so the monthly payment is $277.54 and 54 cents when you round it, make sure to read the instruction, how many decimal places uh, you should enter and uh, the, make sure also you enter the currency value. This should be changed to a currency. All right. All right. You're going to do the same here. Everything is going to be the same except you're going to change the year. On C52, you're going to enter 10 years. D52, you're going to enter 15 years. 
other than that everything is gonna you're gonna use the same procedure okay the one i just already show you all right all right so you're gonna finish filling out those okay now let me finish the one on the fifteen thousand five year loan okay all right so the method payment is 271 dollar and 54 cents now on sale b54 you're gonna compute the total amount paid over the time of the loan so how much you will pay uh, in five years given that you're gonna pay every month this much amount to 77.54 dollar for five years and you pay this amount for every month all right you just make presence value Monthly payment times number of years times number of payment per year. All right, so the total amount paid over the time of the loan is you pay sixteen dollar, sixteen thousand dollar, sixteen thousand six hundred fifty two dollar and fifteen cents. All right, so that's the total payment, including the principal and the interest. Okay. So how much interest you paid or how much you lose in other words so the total amount paid minus the principal which is the loan amount all right one thousand sixty six hundred fifty two dollar and one five cents so you pay interest this much which is i can see kind of you lose money because interest paying interest is the same as you know you, you lose your money all right all right now you're gonna compare those values so here on b uh, 60 total saving from energy improvement so how much is the total saving here you're gonna copy the total saving uh, enter equal sign so you're gonna uh, bring or transfer the total saving all right the total amount saved this one here b42 click that one that's your total saving all right and your, to your total loan payment you see your total loan payment your total loan payment this one you click on b54 all right so you total saving from energy improvement so you saved twelve thousand six hundred and ninety seven cents that's how much you save after five years and here on b 61 is total payment how much you pay uh over five years right so now next gonna do what you're gonna do is have you broken even at this point yes or no that means breaking even means here means that the total saving outweighs your total amount so the total saving is greater than this your loan you are even but here the answer should be no because your saving is less than your loan amount so i would say no here all right To so save uh, even broken even the saving should be greater than the loan all right all right you're gonna do the same you're gonna follow the same step for the other sections for the 10 year and 15 year total saving in total loan all right and it's a comparison all right thank you for watching